first? Holy shit, you're fast. <laughs> Alright. Well, uh, we're gonna be here for a while. Actually, let me clear my stamina first. Ooh, I've been practicing all night, man. This boss is actually dog shit. If the next boss is worse than this, I'm actually just done with Blue Archive, I think. This 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 boss is a bit too much. I, I, I just cannot believe they made such a shitty boss in Blue Archive. It's actually unbelievable. <laughs> Anyways, I think we can do it, but man. Somehow worse than Bina? Oh, you have no idea. This boss is actually the worst thing I've ever seen. I'll show you guys in a bit. Yeah, you can one team if you, you know, if you whale. That's why I think, like, this is by far the most pay to win raid ever. Because if you don't pay, you don't even get to play. How about that? Uh, so, the, the thing about this boss is that... Once you enter the boss fight, in 20 seconds, it will do an AoE attack that's guaranteed to crit on your students. And if they're not yellow armor, they just die. So the only way to, to prevent that from happening is that you have to bring... You have to apply three, more than three debuffs. And one of them has to be a attack reduction debuff to even make your team survive. Otherwise, your team just dies. And the fight's over. You you, you you have like 20 seconds, good luck. So you absolutely have to have at least Mine or uh, Mina or uh, Saki, Swimsuit Saki. You have you have you have to have at least one of the two. Ideally you wanna have both. If you don't then your entire team is pretty much dead. And then you need a frontline healer, but guess what? We only have two frontline healers that's uh, heavy armor that can survive the fight. One is Rumi, which is here, and the other is Koharu. And then the best damage dealer is Minori, who is also a new student. So if you don't have those three, well, you can pretty much kiss the raid goodbye. <laughs> but I somehow find, find, I found a way to beat it. I did it in like the pra I did it in a practice run already. It took me five hours of practice. If you don't have the proper students and and have them invested, you need like six students in total that are all new free stars. Six of them, and most of them need to be pretty high, uh, highly invested as well. So this is a pretty much a whale only raid. Yeah, well, if, if you skip Minori, it's actually fine. You can miss like two. I think you can miss two. If you miss more than three of the crucial students, you pretty much are out of luck. Unless you're like me, who's crazy. But honestly, I think this might be the last tournament I'm ever doing. Because this boss is so bad, it actually it killed my love for the game. I've been fucking molding six hours today. Well, seven hours to be exact. Ever since I came back home tonight. I, I was like half drunk, but... Fuck, man. Like, ever since the first anniversary, like, the story and music in this game has gotten so much better. But the, but the actual game content is getting worse and worse every fucking update, man. All the new bosses suck. And this one's like the worst one. I think this one is the last straw that broke the camel's back. Yeah, this is the by far the worst boss. Uh, if you don't pay, you don't even get to play. They don't even let you fucking play. That is the like you, you can't even body throw for this boss because the moment you enter the bo the, the fight, your students are all dead. <laughs> you have like 20 seconds. Like, I think mechanically speaking, this boss is kind of fun, but the execution is really terrible. Like, the, the how, how they make you... How, how they make you need to have, like, so many crucial students. If you miss just one of them, 
it, it's like 10 times difficult. If you miss two of them, it's nearly impossible. If you miss three, then oh, it's pretty much over. Yeah, they ba basically all the all the recent banners, like all the new students from every recent banner are required. Anyways, let's let's fucking practice for a bit. Oh my god, I, we, we have to practice once because I'm not very confident. I, I actually killed the boss in practice before this before I start streaming. But yeah, this is uh, not gonna be fun. I don't know. Like the thing is, like the, the thing that pisses me off the most is that if you don't have the students, they don't even let you play. It's like a gigantic middle finger. <laughs> it, it's just a dev saying fuck you. <laughs> Well, to be fair, I don't think we can beat this in an hour. It's uh, it's not that easy, but <laughs> we'll, we'll see, man. We'll see. Maybe we got a really good run or something. It's possible. I'm not sure if I should do, do this or do the other rotation. Mm. Yeah, 3 star Saki dies here by the way. <laughs> Has to be 4 star. to keep count here. Oh no, is it too late? Okay, fuck, we, we just barely made it. I, I almost did it too late. Timing for that one is really tight. Got them all? Really? What the fuck? <laughs> it. It went on the other one. Holy shit! Ah. You motherfucker. I think it might still be okay. Not sure if it's still okay though. We'll see. Oh, did we hit it? We missed. Oh, we didn't crit enough. Toki kind of sucks. It turns out Nagisa is amazing, and Toki is pretty terrible. <laughs> well, Toki can actually hit a lot of target, but she just dies. Like they they made pretty much 
90% of the students unplayable in this raid for some reason. I do the other I, I should really just do the other rotation, fuck it. I feel like this one's better. Yeah, I feel like this is better. I tried the other rotation, it's kinda sh it's kinda shit. I don't like it. I should just do this from now on. I feel like it's just much safer. Oh and we died. High stability on the boss. Nice. Uh, the 220 mil HP is actually pretty reasonable. The boss is really squishy. Like, you can one team this. It's like one of the most squishy boss in the game. It has a lot of HP. It looks scary, but it's, it's really not. Because you do like 30 times the da the usual damage. It's, it's just that it's really hard to survive in this in this fight. And also, getting the stun is, is really toxic as well. Uh, this, this fight is just very toxic in general. Yeah, I think if they actually made it 250, it's not possible for me. My limit is like 230, I think. <laughs> If it's like any higher, I, I couldn't do it. Yeah, I, I should really start just doing this. I feel like this is much better. Alright, hopefully we don't die here. We died again. Oh, you piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, the HP looks scary, but this boss is really, really squishy. You do a ton of damage to it. That's not very good. Not a lot of crits. Oh fuck, I forgot. But it's fine. This one is okay. Alright, timing. What? Why is it 5? Did I? Did I misclick again? I hate this boss so much, man. Yeah, I heard they fixed the music, but the, the song gets really repetitive. <laughs> if you actually listen to the boss music while fighting this boss for torment, I think it actually is gonna drive you crazy. <laughs> 
it's gonna do some real mental damage. Oh, that's a nice crit. Oh, we might be over this time then. Oh no. I hope we're I hope we're not over. Oh, we hit a really big crit on the boss. <laughs> that's that's actually not good. What? Why is it still 5? What am I doing differently? Why is it 5? Where's my attack reduction debuff? How is it 5 here? So, what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Which one did I not hit? One, two, three, four, five, six. Should be six. What? What did I do wrong? Huh? Not sure. Maybe I need to shoot it er earlier. Oh, oh, was I was I too late? Not sure. I do have two stack of defense reduction. How how am I doing? I don't understand man, this boss is sometimes, it, it's a mystery. Like, I really don't understand sometimes. Like, I'm not doing anything wrong, I think. It just doesn't work sometimes. Oh, I didn't misclick this time. I'm I'm pretty sure I didn't misclick. All right. I don't really understand what happened there. I guess I'll just shoot early. Fuck it, man. Every time I shoot late, it has some. Sometimes it, it can fuck up. I'm just gonna do it the other way around this time. Fuck it. I just do this. What? 
Oh my god, I forgot to I forgot to debuff. What am I doing? Fuck, I was too afraid of going over there. We might go over to be honest. No matter what, there. I think we did too much damage on that one. Too much damage. Yeah, you can run Aru on Insane, not on Torment though. This boss is not very fun on Torment. Make sure. Alright, it's 4. Make sure we don't miscount here. You know what? Let, let's try this. Yeah, I think this might be. Alright, let's 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 try something different this time. Yeah, I feel like this might be a better play. We leave one here. Make sure that I shoot a bit early this time. Okay, we did it. Nice. Yeah, I guess shooting at 57 is better there. Yeah, going at 56 is a bit tough. I think this might be better. Oh, we might go over though. Hopefully we don't go over here. I don't know, this looks a bit scuffed. Hmm... I don't know if this can make it or not. <laughs> well, I hope that's enough. Oh, we stunned a bit early. Okay, maybe it's still fine. Oh my, why is it 5? Oh my god, I went... I shot too late again, fuck! Alright, whatever. Sometimes we have to make some sacrifice. Oh no, Miyako died? Oh my... That is so unlucky. Bro, that is so unlucky, man. Yeah, the final phase is really laggy. That's why it's really pay to win, because I don't think this is even playable on phone. Like, the final phase is really hard on phone. If somebody can do it on phone, props to them. I don't think it's possible. This get, this fight is like emulator only, pretty much. <laughs> and you, you, you need a pretty decent PC, too.
Like, if you have a low-end PC running the emulator, it's not gonna work. I don't know, man. I feel like that... I, I don't know. Now, if I use Saki to get a stun, it's gonna be too early, I think. Yeah, if I use Saki to get a stun, it might be too early. Or like, I can try to time the thing. Here, like... Maybe this delays it a little bit. I'm not sure. Oh fuck, I, I did too... Okay, it's still fine. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna try to use the Saki stun. Oh my gosh, she died. <laughs> now this fight is about debuff. And, uh... Try not to die. <laughs> well, this fight is mostly about death. Because the boss basically kills any student that is... Like, that, that it counters, pretty much. It counters like 90% of the students in the, in the whole game. There are very few students that are actually playable in this raid, which is my problem. Like, you can't even body throw in this raid. Alright, let me try the old method. I don't know. I, I don't I don't feel like the Saki stun strat is gonna be good. It's so precise. I really don't like it. Let's try the Saki stun strat one more time. I feel like I might might as well just get Saki to five star at this point. It is so stupid. Like, I don't want to lose, lose run to Saki dying. This this raid has already enough reset points. I should probably just get, get Saki to 5 star. Honestly. Yeah. Oh no, it's too late? Okay. We, we barely made it. Holy shit. That was so close. Wait, what? Oh my god, we got the stun so early. What the f- How did we get the stun so early this time? We still have two left. How much did we crit? Oh my god, this fucking run, man. Uh, cheerleader Hibiki is okay. But she dies, so it's not okay. She's actually decent, because you just want to keep the thing on the boss. And she's a really, really good cost to duration debuff. The thing is, she dies. And it's like impossible to keep her alive, realistically speaking. So... Yeah, I don't know, man. I should, I should, I should stop trying the Saki stun strat. Right? Uh... I'll just try the normal strat. Oh my god, I almost forgot to... Alright, let's try the normal strat this time.
and she died. I should just get Saki to 5 star, man. I don't know. The thing is, if I want to kill the boss, it might take 3 or 4 teams. And... I don't know, man. Is it really worth it? Just so that we may not reset. Right, we, we're getting her to 5 stars so that we sometimes don't have to reset. To like fast ability from boss. <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, it's really hard if you don't have the units, but it's like super easy if you have them, that's the thing. Th this raid is actually like really really easy if you have all the units. Uh, this is a really pay to win unit uh, raid. Like the most pay to win raid by far. Alright, let's see if Saki dies here. Alright, she didn't die, nice. Mm, I feel like the normal strat here. I don't know, the normal strat is also really RNG. Dunbar is kind of bad here. Oh man. Alright. Man, yeah, I guess it's kind of okay. It's like not too bad, I guess. the stun timing is still okay, I guess. Yeah, it's like kind of okay. Oh my god, alright, that, that sucks. Oh man, I hate it so much, man. The timing on that is really hard. See the last shot. Six. I think we can go seven. Oh! Oh, fuck, we didn't make it. Ah! Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Man, that stress sucks. Okay. Ah! Oh. I'm done with that strat. Oh, the Saki stun strat is so bad, dude. I hate it. It is so terrible. 
<laughs> Thank God we practiced. Oh man. What units? Well, basically the, the units you you see in my in this team that I'm running are the crucial ones. Well, I'm missing three crucial students for this, so I'm running a really scuffed strategy. Okay, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna do my strat now. I don't know this like this strat the strat I was running before deals more damage, but it's so inconsistent, man. I have to like hit that Reza ultimate when it does the cleanse, otherwise it's not gonna work. I fucking hated it, man. Oh man, I hate it so much. I should just try my. I should just use my own strat. Like we don't actually need the extra damage to kill the boss. Well, we kind of do, but like I don't know. I feel like getting it realistically in a run is really hard. It's like very low chance. And plus, you can crit too much and stun early. Or you can crit too little and not stun. Uh, I don't want to deal with that, man. Yeah, now that I think about it, I I'm doing my own strat now. But fuck the, the mo mo most optimal strat. It's terrible. The odds of getting the stun at the right time it's like literally impossible, I feel like. Hey, we didn't die. Nice. What? My last shot, it fucking missed. You gotta be kidding me. How did that miss, man? I feel like that's FPS related. Sometimes it does it early, sometimes it does it late. Like, I try the same timing almost every time, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I don't fucking understand. <laughs> Do I like this boss better? No, this is like absolutely the worst boss in the entire game, by far. Like, no other boss come comes close to this in terms of just... Like, it's kind of boring too, that's the thing. Like, the fight itself is actually kind of boring. <laughs> like, it, it is nice to see like really big numbers. You, you throw a skill and you see like hundreds of bars of HP disappear. But yeah, like besides that, this boss is kind of boring, and it's really pay to win. It's really not fun. Yeah, 
I feel like I'm so bad at aiming Reza's skill. Her skill has a really weird hitbox. Sometimes it just doesn't hit for some reason. I can't understand sometimes. We just have to aim more to the left, I think. Yeah, aiming to the left is the play here. Probably fine. Okay, we got the stun on time at, at least. All right, that's that's good. That's a good start. What, she died? You gotta be kidding me. That is really unlucky for her to die like that. Alright, you know what, let's just reset. Oh my god. And you know another thing that really pisses me off? So... Man, I really fucking hate this shit because they made it so on purpose, man. The evasion in this boss is really fucked up. Alright, so let's look at Swimsuit Miyako here. So Swimsuit Miyako has... Let's see. At tier 8 gear, she has exactly 1700, 1714 evasion. And guess how much the accuracy the boss have? 1600. And she needs to dodge 50 attacks to get the cost regen, which is pretty crucial. And guess, guess what she gets on the weapon upgrade? She gets 300 evasion. So, with this and the uh, normal, the basic skill, she can dodge the boss very effectively. But without this, she just dies sometimes. They made it just barely, man, just barely. Like, you really have to get it. They made it really on purpose, man. <laughs> just to bait you to invest into this. And guess what? 4 star Saki almost dies. To get 5 star Saki, she doesn't die. 4 star Saki, sometimes she dies. Everything's fucking calculated, man. Just gotta pay up, otherwise, well, you're just gonna fuck up. <laughs> like, why do I have to make it so fucking obvious, man? Like, at least, I don't know, try to be play nice. Well, I mean, 
you can easily one team insane on this boss. This boss is really, really easy on insane. Like I literally did insane the first time I, I entered the I entered the fight. I didn't even practice. Why well, I, I spent like three hours fury crafting before, so I knew what to do pretty much. But still. Like you, if you can one team insane and get like a slightly decent score, then uh, it's you can get in plat. So this this boss is pretty easy if you don't do torment. It's just the torment they they made it so disgusting, man. Like I really don't understand why they why they did it this way. I'm starting to think that I just missed with Reza. <laughs> I'm starting to think I just fucking missed. Well, let's hope Saki doesn't die. She didn't this time. I just really have to aim like further left. Okay. Yeah, it, it, I just fucking missed before. All right. Well, let's just hope she gets some good evasion this time. Oh no, dude, what? How did we get a stun this early? You gotta be fucking kidding me. How did we stun this early, bro? Now we must crit so hard on the boss that we actually got the stun that early. Holy shit. We got a stun 10 seconds early. I guess we just landed every crit on the boss. That is really stupid, man. I think that's the first time I've gotten the stun like that. That is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, Honkai kinda does the same thing, but... Like, Honkai at least, you know, there's like, budget strats, right? Well, this game, there's like, no real budget strats for most of the tournament bosses. Did I'm, I- I fucking- alright, whatever, it's probably fine. It's not fine. Oh my god, we lost so much health. Oh, why did I do that? Alright, whatever. Probably still okay. No, 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 no. Oh my god, I shot too late. Well, the thing is, so before, like, we look at other bosses, right? We have like weaker alternatives. In this raid, there's no alternative. Like once we get to the secondary teams, you guys are gonna see how bad it is. If you don't run the optimal team, you don't even get to play in this raid. It's not like this before. Like even on hot, right? 
Hot is a really heavily mechanic gated boss. Like if you don't bring stun or crowd control, you just can't do anything. But in that raid, at least we have some like backups, right? We have like Suzumi, like Summer Wakamo and stuff. And the and the requirements not really that tight either. Like a lot of units are actually like playable. But for this raid in particular, there's like no backup pretty much. If you don't have the those few units, it's just it's just over. Can't do anything about it. Like there's no real weaker alternatives. <laughs> As you guys will will soon see if we get past the first team. I feel like I don't really need to practice the first team that much though. I feel like oh fuck, I forgot to I forgot to heal. Alright, we should practice the first team. Fuck. <laughs> Reading chat. Yeah, this one's really it really gates you. And like the thing is all these units that are good in this raid. Or like are required in this raid are back to back. And you need both summer SRTs, and you need both of the uh, Chinese students. Now you really need every single one of them, and then you also need Minori. Like everyone is required, like literally, and they all came back to back. I, I really should do that early, I feel like, yeah. What? I forgot to heal? Oh my god. Saki lived on like 1 HP, holy shit. <laughs> That was really lucky. Alright. Time this one. Okay, I didn't miss this time. Nice. Oh my god, the stun bar. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck is this stun bar? Holy shit. Are we this far in? You gotta be kidding me with this shit. Oh my god, we're gonna... Done too early, for sure. Maybe not actually. It's like kind of okay. Oh wow, we actually hit a perfect stun. Holy shit. We haven't had a perfect stun in forever. I better drop heal. Miyako's so fucking low for some reason. Oh my god, still too- oh fuck, it's still too early. Yeah, it's still too early, man. I need to get the visual cue.
who core for this raid? Everyone, man. Everyone you see in my team is core. <laughs> you can't miss any one of them. No replacements. No replacements, man. Alright, I need to, like, under- like, I need to understand the visual cue better on the final phase. Alright, let's slow mo this. Alright, so one swing, two swing, three swing. See this purple thing. Four swing. Five swing. And cleanse. Okay, so how many, how many purple is that? Well, I actually have to read this one. Yeah, because the stun timing is different. I actually have to know how to read this one. I need to know how to read the boss movement. I have to. I cannot let it ruin runs anymore. I think this is where when I shoot Reza. Five. Six. Okay, so it's six. Is this six wings, guys? I don't know. The thing is, like, it, it does do this, I guess. Hard to say, man. <laughs> it seems like he always has some purple on the on the wand. How do I tell which attack he's doing, man? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. 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 <laughs> I think we should have five, right? Yeah, we should have five. Okay. We actually have to. Fuck, I don't know music though. Like, I, I don't know what kind of. Like, attack is doing. I bet a music student would have known this. Like, what kind of music cue he's using. Actually, is the... Is, is there any, like, audio cue for this? On the battle BGM? I'm not sure. Maybe I should use the in-game music for this. Okay, so it has like a purple aura glowing, and then six. Yeah, okay. Okay, it has like a purple aura glowing. But, but it's so hard to see the purple aura though, look at it. Okay, so three, four, Yeah, so it has a purple aura glowing. And you get ready when it has the purple aura.
Okay, so we just need to wait for the purple aura. Oh, it's doing it again, bro. Alright. Alright. Yeah, we just have to watch out for the purple aura. Yeah. Okay, I think we got it now. Uh, but the timing is still very hard to tell. That one didn't die. Really? Alright, well, whatever, man. I think that thing will die to the uh, basic skill anyways. Why is this so... Dude, this time the stun bar is so low, look at it. I think we have to do it now. We didn't even get the stun this time. Holy shit. Alright, whatever. You know what? Fine. We're here to practice after all. So one... Two, three... Fuck, it's so hard to see, dude. Maybe it's still okay, I don't know. It doesn't look very okay. Oh no. Yeah, it's over. Oh, fuck, how did we not get a stun this time? How bad was the run, man? Holy shit. Every audio kill? Okay. I don't want to turn on in-game music for this, man. It, it sounds too much. Gonna destroy my mentality for sure. <laughs> Alright, you know what? M maybe I don't know. Is it like the? Is it this one? Sound effects? No, it has no audio kill. Audio kill is in the in the BGM, I think. Now maybe it's in voice. Oh no, there's no way. All right, I don't I don't think we're playing with the audio. <laughs> Man, why does it have to be in the BGM, man? Like, it's- the BGM gets so repetitive. It's ridiculous. Alright, whatever, I'll just watch the purple aura. I think we- I think we got it, it's fine. It's probably okay. Alright, let's just hope that we don't- We don't play like shit this time.
Okay, we did a miss. Dude, why is the stun bar so high this time? Man, I hate this boss. I'm not sure if this is gonna work though. I should probably drop it like right now. Yeah. For the stun. Okay, we got off the stun. Dude, we got like a super late stun as well. I don't see purple aura yet. Alright, that's... Fuck, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think we shoot about now, right? Or one more? Gonna twist it, like upwards. I think we should- alright, now. No, we did- we shot too, like- oh my god, that happened so fast. Okay. Ah, uh, we need to shoot it before it turns the arm up. Yeah. God damn it. Uh, we'll throw it at 6. 6, go! Yes! Alright, we got it. Oh, <laughs> uh, if I didn't miss that, I think we would have killed it, actually. We would have got it under 60. If it's under 60, it's killable. Alright. Yeah, I, I, I think I got the visual kill now. You, you have to shoot it before, like, when it swings the arm from lower to higher. Is it like called like something called like a crescendo or something? <laughs> you have to do it like before he does that. <laughs> oh man. Alright, time for the pain. Time for pain. Oh boy. Man, we almost did it, but we failed. <laughs> it's a bit unfortunate. Oh, we almost did it, man. But we failed. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I missed this one? Did we? Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding. Look at how much damage you are taking. And this is the armor type that counters the boss, by the way. <laughs> Alright. 
Time for rat! Okay, that's not bad. Not bad. I'll take that. Then you jump forward. Oh wow, we we got really lucky here. What the fuck? <laughs> We got really lucky here. What? What? <laughs> that is really lucky. All right. I'll jump. All right. All right. This. No. Okay, it's fine. Should be okay. Back. Rat again. Drop this. Oh, it's not enough. Oh, we only did 24. Oh man, that's bad. <laughs> and we missed a lot, I think. Uh, unlucky. Yeah, 24 is not killable, I don't think so. We can do about 14. So we're 10 mil short. Well, our first team fucked. We, our first team sucked. <laughs> Alright, well, I will practice team 3 and 4 for you guys to see. If you guys don't know what happens. If you don't bring the required units. Let's see how much we, we have left. I think we're, we're, we're gonna be at like around, around 10 million left. Which is exactly how much we messed up in the uh, first team. We messed up the first team by well, for sure. Oh shit, she died? Unlucky. Fifth team, team strat. Yeah. It's pretty much gotten to that point. I mean, if it really comes down to a ticket, we will throw bodies. 
I, I will throw bodies. For sure. Alright, she dodged. Nice. Wait, did it? Oh my... Wait, what? Oh, I forgot. Fuck, I forgot. Oh, what was I thinking? <laughs> I forgot to use Marina. I was like... I feel like I was doing something wrong there. Yeah, only yellow armor survives, yes. Uh, you need both yellow armor and um, attack reduction. Marina's gonna die here. She need to dodge the initial hit. Oh god damn it! <sighs> yeah, she need to dodge the hit. I need to just reset for the dodge. I think. Hibiki is now just a budget swimsuit Miyu. Uh, Hibiki has been completely power creeped by uh, Maid Yuzu and swimsuit Miyu at this point. There's like no reason to run Hibiki anymore. I mean she sucks in this raid too by the way. Like she's really bad in this one. Remember to do this do the thing. She's still not dead. Hello? Uh, this is how much this team can do. We did how much? Like around 10? Well, ideally this team can do around 12. But yeah, that, that's the end of the this team pretty much. We can try to survive for one more, but it's not gonna work. She's gonna die momentarily. And that's it. <laughs> man, I leveled her skill too much, man. Fuck. If she died earlier, we could have shot our Yuzu with the debuff on. And we would have done like maybe two or three more million damage. Alright, team 4 time. Alright, team 4. Team 4 can do about 4 million if I get really lucky. <laughs> 
And then after that is just body throwing for 20 seconds and watch your students die. Haruna sucks, man. I should have just used Haru, honestly. <sighs> Why am I using Haruna? I don't know. Should have just used Haru, it's better. Alright, fuck it. Fuck Akko this one. I'm not gonna Akko here. What's the point? No, Aru will not die. If you run this setup, they can survive. Alright, that's more like it. Alright, turn the organ around, yay! Alright, that's pretty much the end of this team. <laughs> pretty much. I have like one more ultimate if uh when Shun dies here. Alright, one more. Come on, give me one more hit! Survive! Hit it! Yes, we hit it. Alright, 10 mil left. Exactly 10 mil. <laughs> well, uh, we, we fucked up on the first team. Our first team is supposed to do um about 15 million more. I just fucked up. I fucked up the Reza EX, so we didn't get a debuff on. <laughs> yeah, so we have 10 mil left. I think that's enough practice. It's time for a uh, time for a ticket. All right, time for the ticket. Actually, how many times can I even try? Let, let me see. How many Minori do I have on Borrow? So we have one from Johnny, two, and three. All right, we, we actually have all three tickets. Let's go. Real molding begin. It's time. Oh boy, I'm I'm shaking. Rip ticket? No, we're gonna get this first fucking try. Watch me. Well, yeah, there's literally no debuff left after my fourth team. So, after fourth team is basically like Bina. Where we just body throw and do a little bit of chip damage every, uh... <laughs> Every team.
No, oh, Saki died. <laughs> Uh, poison count, yes, but poison doesn't get spread over to the other minions. It does count, like poison burn, they do count. The thing is, they are very short duration usually, like if you think about poison or burn, they're usually 20. Ideally you want to have debuff that are like 40 seconds long to finish a cycle on this boss. Uh, like technically speaking, you can bring cheerleader Hibiki, uh, but the thing is, you're not gonna survive long enough for the burn to <laughs> to fully hit, and even then, the the minions don't actually last that long. Alright, time to hope Saki doesn't die. Hey, she's arrived. Alright, now let's see if we get the stun. Stunbar is kind of low, actually. <laughs> oh, okay, we got a nice crit. Oh man, this this guy's really high HP. Slightly problematic. Don't misclick this. Uh, okay, that is a little awkward. Uh, oh, we got a stun at 105. Is that good enough? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if 105 stun is actually good. Maybe. Alright, we hit it. Did we hit it? No, we, did we not hit it? Oh my god, I don't think we hit it. Dude, that was too early? I don't understand, how was that too early? How was that too early? What? Oh, 
Oh, did I accidentally hit the organ so he cleansed the boss? I think that's what happened. Fuck. I might have misclicked. Cause I don't think I I don't think I hit too early there. <laughs> I think I just accidentally hit the hit the organ and it cleansed the boss. Yeah, cause it it, it is a cleanse after the uh, debuff on the last minute. Ah. Well, that run wasn't that great, anyways. We stunned too early. <laughs> Kinda of hard to explain while doing this raid. <laughs> like you, you have to be pretty focused. Yeah, so the main thing about this strategy is that like normally you you get debuff cleansed by the boss, so you need to run uh, Mina. Because Mina provides free debuff, so you don't worry about the, the cleanse. But there's another way to get around the cleanse, which is using Reza. So Reza, her ultimate actually applies the same debuff three times, and it has a really long cast animation. So you can have it shot the boss, it cleanses the first defense reduction, and then the follow-up shot will reapply the debuff. So that, that's how you get around not having Mina for this fight. Uh, but yeah, the timing for that is really strict and obvious. Oh my god, what, what am I doing? But it's, it's hard to explain because this boss is really complicated. Like everything I, I'm doing is very exact and it's really hard to explain the reasoning. I should stop explaining and focus on the run first. This is a really difficult fight, like to execute properly. The timing is really tight, the position is also really tight. Yeah, I need to remember to not hit the ore again in the final phase. I keep forgetting. Like sometimes I just forget. It must have cleansed the debuff. Oh, it's the music of hope. Oh my god, why is she so low here? Raisa, what are you doing? Why are you so low? Oh my god, my stun bar is a little high, guys. Uh, I'm a little concerned. Roughly the same. Stun on 106. Guess that's not the worst. 
think. Alright, make sure to not hit the ore again. I still did it too late. Yeah. I did it too late. Okay. Fuck. Man, I shot too late. God damn it. This timing is so fucking hard, man. The last one. And the timing is not fixed because when you get the stun on the on this boss is random. That's a big hit, what the fuck? Oh. Daki, please don't die! Oh, don't die on me, Saki, please. Don't die on me. We just have to hope Saki sucks and not kill this one. Oh my god, the stun bar is way too high this time. What the fuck? How do we get such an insane stun bar this time, man? Stun bar this time is actually insane. Stun 106 again. Alright, might as well drop the heal here. Yes, we got it! Timing!
Woo, we did it! Alright, now we just need to crit. We need to crit hard. No, we only had- Fuck, we stunned too early, man. Oh, man, this run would've been so good if we didn't get the early stun. Fuck. Oh, man, we stunned way too early. We lost, like, four seconds. We could've thrown another Minori and Nagisa. That's, like, fucking 30 million. Ah, uh, We got the stun too early, man. Fucking Minori crit too hard on the early game. Should I try, should I try to leave one out, Strat? Guys, I don't know if the leave one out strat is even good, but honestly, it might be worth. I'm trying to leave one out strat. Fuck it, I'm trying it this time. This shit is so stupid. I get the early stun like fucking every run. In practice, it doesn't happen that often, but you know, actual ticket happens every run. Alright, we'll try to leave one out strat this time. We do like this, basically. So we'll leave this guy. So we'll leave this guy alone. And hopefully she he he plays nice. I think this time is actually good. Oh my god, we got it at 108? Really? That was pretty unlucky. Oh man. Man, she must have critted really hard. <laughs> We know we must land like almost every crit on the boss or something. How did that fucking work, man? Oh man. Alright, I think we're trying to leave one out strat again. Yeah, I feel like this strat m might be better. I and mean, we, we overkill like almost every fucking run. It's actually absurd.
Your stun bar is so high again. What? How is it so high again, man? Every time, I feel like. Here's the plan. I had a I had a better plan now. New plan. Did we... We didn't get it? Really? Huh? We actually didn't get that one. How? You've gotta be kidding me with this shit, man. How did we not get it? Was it too low this time? this RNG. Well, we, have, we got three tickets to waste, so uh, yeah, it's fine. I'm sure we'll get one run. I'm sure we'll get the run. Maybe not this ticket. <laughs> my, my hope is kind of dying already. <laughs> How was that not enough? What? That's absurd. Alright, if I run this strat, I'm not gonna do the keep one alive anymore. There's no point. And Saki died. Oh. I feel like my damage every time I try to do... I, I, if I keep one alive, I get it too low. If I don't keep one alive, it's like omega high damage. Like, what, what, what's wrong with that, man? Like, what the fuck is wrong with this boss? It's like, it's reading my every move. It's reacting to my gameplay. Better, I, I have a strat this time. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something different this time. Oh fuck! I paused too early. Oh, whatever. I paused too early. Fine. Angle for this is so bad. We admit, dude. I think Reza actually missed on the boss, and it didn't apply the debuff. Did we? Did we actually miss? Somebody, somebody like <laughs> rewind the stream 
I see. Did, did my race uh, miss? I don't think I... I don't think I aimed wrong. I just missed the last shot. And didn't apply the debuff. <laughs> I actually didn't know that if you uh, miss with the attack, you don't apply the debuff. I think it was a miss. Somebody... Yeah, I think she missed. Dude, the odds of her missing is really low. I think her accuracy is just barely lower than the boss's evasion. Die on me, Saki. Man, that's kind of unbelievable that fucking miss can happen. <laughs> I didn't even know. I thought you would apply the debuff regardless of hitting, but apparently not. You can miss. Well then, Reza, I hope you, uh... Alright, she hits this time. Man, this is just getting absurd. I... Should I just throw Saki right here? I feel like throwing Saki right here might just be better. I mean, we're gonna re reapply it later anyways. There's like no point in waiting. Oh, we still didn't get it. Wow, that is really unlucky. Goharu actually didn't manage to kill the pleb there. So we do have to shoot a little bit early, I think. From Nagisa. Yeah, we probably have to shoot it early for, from Nagisa. Man, I think if Koharu just lands one more crit on that on that pleb enemy in the front row, we would have had it perfect. Like we are actually one shot away, I think. Should it hold up? Oh, it does kind of ran out. Ah, oh, it does ran out actually. Do have to shoot it a little bit earlier. All right, she didn't miss this time.
Now here's the plan. I think we do it at like... Oh wait, what? It's done this early? What? What? We have like five guys with a knock. Dude. That is insane. How is that? What happened? Did Minori high roll every single critical hit on the boss? How was that too high? <laughs> That's insane, man. Oh my god. I, I don't think I've ever seen that happening. Actually, guys, how much time do I have on the ticket? <laughs> Anyone know how much time do I have on the ticket? Oh fuck, what, what am I doing? Half hour? Okay. Oh, it's not the last day in JP, no. Just pause it? Well, that's more time wasted, right? You guys can just tell me. I don't want to waste any second on this precious ticket. Alright. 26? Okay. I think I'll adjust my timings a little bit. I don't know. I feel like we're like getting too many high rolls. Maybe I'm just like getting super unlucky in practice or something. But in practice, I don't get high rolls very often. So I don't like really play for the high roll, but we, we got like high roll almost every run of it seems. Saki. Nice. This doesn't look too high, right? Ah, it still looks a little too high. I don't know. I think this is fine. I think I shoot at exactly now. Oh, we got it! Perfect! Alright. Come on, spawn it! Do something, please! We actually got a perfect. Alright, now the timing.
No, I did it too early! No! Not like this, man. Oh my god. Maybe it's still okay? Miyako died? Like maybe Reza dies now. Come on, Reza, you need to die! No! No, I shot too early! What the fuck, man? Oh my god. That is unbelievable that we shot early. <laughs> that is painful, man. Uh, at least our strat worked. I will get him next time. Fuck. It's so hard because I never studied music. I, I don't know which one is the... <laughs> Which one is the right move? Any like professional musician here? <laughs> and tell me which one is the right move? Perfect timing for the mu- No, I- I missed. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me with this shit. I missed this. Okay, maybe it actually works out. Maybe, copium. Alright, I fucked up. But maybe it's still okay. Maybe we were too high on this one. I... I missed. Alright, don't miss, Reza, please. Okay, nice. Every time she fires, I, I get so nervous, man. So nerve-wracking. Oh no, we're so low, dude. What the fuck? Alright, uh, I guess we can try the old strat this time. We're too low this time. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh no, I forgot to Saki. What, what am I doing? I don't think this one will make it either way. We're too too low this time. Now we're too low that time. Even after Nagisa ultimate, we're still like... <laughs> yeah, that, that one's not gonna work, I think, no matter what I do. That run was unsalvageable. No, but you're not gonna do much groggy in that 15 seconds. The groggy mainly comes from knocking down the minion. Uh, which we are quite far from. We, we're like more than two minion away, actually. So I don't think that one would have worked. Unless Koharu got some insane crits. How many people finished Torment? I think close to a hundred at this point. Probably over a hundred. I haven't checked. Alright, we didn't miss this time. Great. Alright, time for the moment of truth. Okay, that's really Hi. Okay. Uh, that is not a good sign, actually. We didn't even Nagisa and we got it. Oh my god. That is way too high, man. That is way too high. Yeah, you can one team if you have every unit like fully invested. Yeah. Well, the thing about this raid is it's like if you just miss one unit, you're doing like a hundred million less almost. Well, not that much, but like, you're doing like 50 million less, just by not having one unit. And it also makes your secondary teams so much worse. And I'm missing three units, three core units. Not one, not two. I'm missing three. So, attempting this is already pretty insane. I think I might be the only one that cleared with missing this many. Which is an achievement in itself. Most optimal team is basically this team minus uh, Reza. You switch Reza for Mina. Mina has not only a better debuff, she also has 3 debuff. Reza you can kinda count on her as having 2 debuffs. But it's a little bit easier to control the debuff with Mina. You basically don't have to time it. And she does way 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 more damage. <laughs> like one shot from Mina can easily deal like more than a million. Oh yeah, and, and also Mina has like an accuracy reduction debuff. 
which makes the boss miss more on your Miyako. I think that's okay. I think this is okay, actually. I'll still do the safety strats, I think, this time. Oh, perfect stun timing again. Alright. Next one. Go! Yes, I think we got it! We, we got it. I'm pretty sure we got it. Uh, should I even heal Reza? I don't know. 24 seconds. I think we can we can finish it. Ah, uh, we should probably heal. Oh no, it fucking didn't even heal. All right. No, it didn't heal. Oh. Oh. You gotta be kidding me with this shit. Oh my god, I should have healed early. Why am I so fucking greedy, man? Ah. Oh. Well, this tech is pretty much dead. <laughs> I can't believe it, man. Or at least we found a better setup, I think. Well, rip ticket. Oh man, that is so dumb, bro. The heal wasn't in time. Miyako just didn't dodge at all. That's what you get for not having fully invested Miyako, man. <laughs> not having her weapon upgrade. And she just needs to dodge like one attack there, literally, to survive. Stun bar's a little bit high, isn't it? I I shot too late. For well, eight minutes. Oh yeah, Mina has very low base attack. But her real value comes from the that she has three debuffs, and she also has like an accuracy reduction debuff. That, that accuracy de reduction debuff is huge, because this boss has 1600 accuracy. I think it boosts your Miyako evasion to like more than 50%. So you like basically never have to worry about Miyako dying. And also, you're gonna get more cost regen, because Miyako, every time, every 50 times Miyako dodges, she gives you like, I don't know, like 0.6 cost or something. 
So you you're gonna get like more than two cards throughout the fight with um Mina. She's the pay to win agent in this fight. Oh my god, that's a big crit. Two million on the boss? Okay, I didn't miss this time. Good. Alright, let's see if it's too high or too low. I think it's a bit too high. Okay, I think this is fine. This is exactly where I want it to be. Almost. What? What? How would... How did that happen? You gotta be fucking kidding me. How did I stun that early? We are like fucking... 14 seconds early. <laughs> How? It's that, it's, it's that fucking Minori crit, man. I saw like a super big fat 2 million crit on the main boss. That crit ruined the run. Well, I mean, we might not see this boss again for a year. I mean, we haven't seen HOD in like a month, I think. So I mean, I don't know, maybe we never see this boss again. This is like the only time we see it. Oh man, Fosaki's gonna die there. Holy shit. Did I- Did I miss again? Holy sh- I missed again. Easy next time around. Well, the thing is... The units that are useful in this boss are pretty much never gonna be useful in any other raid. Like, usually you don't want to apply a huge amount of debuff at a higher cost. You want like Akane for example, she's 2 cost. And she applies a strong debuff, 1. You don't want to spend like, you don't want to use like Mina for example for 3 cost. And you apply 3 shitty debuff. Only for this boss though. Cause it counts the amount of debuff. Well, yeah, but like there, there are a lot of students that are like good in multiple raids, though. Just not this one. Because just mechanically speaking, like a lot of students are usually designed for one or two things, and that makes them good for one or two boss. And Saki died. Three minutes. Well, if you think about it, right? Like we go, we go through like all the yellow raids, 
a lot of a lot of students are interchangeable. Like we see Maki on every on every yellow raid, even on Chesed in some strats. And on Bina and on Hot. And we also see Iori. And obviously with Mika being around, Iori has dropped in terms of play, but she's still very useful across all yellow raids. But for this raid, most of the students are like literally just here for amount of debuff they provide and their armor type. Like, what else they do don't even matter. <laughs> I think it's just kind of bad design, to be honest. We have three tech three minutes left on this ticket. It's over guys. Well two minutes. Let's try to finish phase one at least for once. Alright, we didn't miss this time. That is way too high, what the fuck? Getting me? Yeah, well, I think we're fucked. I think we're fucked. Actually, maybe not. Yeah, I think we're, we might be okay, actually. Yeah, we got it perfect. Wow, that is really lucky. Nice, lucky at the very fucking last run, man. Did we miss? Oh my god, did we miss? I think we missed. Oh my god, dude, we missed. We fucking missed, man. Oh my god, dude, there's no way. Well, that sucks. Wow. Race I choose to miss. Well, I mean, ticket's over, but still. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Actually, what's her accuracy? What the fuck, man? Race actu accuracy is 655. 655. The boss evasion is like 700 or something. 800. Alright. 655-800. What, what is the odds? Hold up. Let, let, let me... What is the odds for this? I have a... I have a 17% chance to miss. On the first hit. 17%! 17%!
Seventeen percent. <laughs> no, the debuff actually do miss. Apparently. Oh man. All right, I'll I'll take a short break and then uh I'll be right back. I have to take a break. Go to the washroom, wash my face, reset my mentality. Uh Koharu is bad uh, is better because her armor type basically. She's Blue armor. Any other armor type just dies in this raid. Like blue armor dies in 20 seconds, uh, red armor dies in about a minute. So yeah. Alright, I'll, I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. Oh. Alright, it's time for our second ticket. Well at least we have a somewhat stable setup. That that's what counts, I think. Actually, hold on, let, let me check. Well, these don't matter. Oh yeah, this- alright, th this actually matters. Okay. <laughs> ah, fuck it, I just fully enhance. I don't even know if they help, but... I just do it anyways. All right, second ticket. You know, I blame Johnny. It's his Minori's fault. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick somebody else. His Minori sucks. I'm switching to another player. I didn't use the wrong one, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that Minori is a paid actor, man. Always hitting too high or too low. How about using your Minori? Well, that's a good, good point, but I don't have her. <laughs> It'd be really easy if I have Minori, I'll be honest. This raid will be easy peasy if I have Minori. Then I can borrow Mina. 
and everything's okay. Alright, let's have a good first run. Fuck, I think I missed the first shot again, holy shit. Alright, it's better to miss early than miss late. Alright, stun bar actually looks kind of okay. Oh, thank god we didn't miss that. Alright, stun bar looks decent. Okay, uh, it's, it's kind of low, huh? That is kind of low. Okay, perfect, perfect. Oh my god, why is she so low? Timing. Oh no! We fuck. We didn't make it. I think. I don't think we made it. Did like cleanse twice or something? Like, why? Why is it like this? Huh? All right, wait a second. Did I miss the t I think I missed the timing. I don't know. I don't know what happened. How did my debuff count go down by 2? I actually don't understand. Oh yeah, I think it might be not- Fuck, I, I might have fucked up the order. Oh my god. Ah. Oh man, that's kind of annoying. What can I do about it?
Alright, hold up. Let me think about this for a moment. One sec. What, what am I doing wrong though? I don't really understand. Did I accidentally hit the organ again? I hope not. Alright, stun bar looks okay. I need to not hit the organ here. I think I want to have the. I want to have. I want to have it here, right? Yeah. I want to turn this here. Fuck! I'm too tired. I'm tripping. All right. I should do figure this out. One sec. Oh my god, am I actually just doing it wrong? I feel like I didn't miss there. It's shaking my confidence a little. Yeah, I might have just shot it too early, I don't know. I might have just shot too early. <laughs> but I don't think... I, I don't think I fucked up the ore again. Well, whatever. Like, I'm almost certain I did not fuck up there. Maybe I'm too tired, man. I've been playing for like 10 hours straight, pretty much. Oh my god, that's a big crit. Yo. Did I miss? Oh, I missed again, bro.
I think I'm too tired. Oh, I think I should go sleep after this ticket. If, if we don't get it, we'll get it later, I guess. I don't know, I'm not as focused. I think I misclicked one of the debuff on that run. Like, it's so easy to misclick too, because apparently like the bot, even though it has a huge hitbox, the single target skill actually don't target it. Right, you have to manually shift the key a little bit just to target the boss. Debuff can miss? Really? Then what happened? Like, how, how did I just have one stack less debuff on that run? Maybe it's bugged. I don't know. Maybe it's just fucking bugged. Also, my damage is really high this run. Yeah, but I hit the debuff though, and it, it should cleanse it, but it just didn't. <laughs> I'm not gonna argue now, but it really seems like I just lost a stack of debuff for no reason. Gonna... Okay, this stun timing is like actually kind of okay, I think. Yeah, our HP is good. We're really healthy. Oh, we shot too early, I think. Yeah, we shot too early there. Fuck. A little bit too early. Like, the thing is, the cleanse only take off one stack, right? So, if I didn't miss, why didn't it cleanse my Reza debuff? It, it, it doesn't make sense, man. <laughs> Cause it, it always cleanses the debuff that you applied uh, the latest, the most recent one. So I don't really understand how that didn't work. I mean that time I shot too early. I'm losing focus guys, I'm too tired I think. <laughs> well, I should go sleep after this. Wait, what? Oh, I forgot to heal. Fuck. What am I doing? Shot 3 EX before cleanse? Okay, so maybe I just missed the timing. Yeah, it's possible.
Well, the thing is, this rate is so laggy, sometimes it's really hard to tell. It's just a very stressful raid because I mean the, the yeah the main thing about it is just that it's so easy to misclick the skill. Like every time I click skill I have to be very very careful. Oh wow that is a really low hit. What the fuck? Okay, this looks fine. Looks fine. Oh my god, I almost misclicked the debuff again. Holy shit. Thank god I was paying attention. I really hate this misclicking stuff. That was perfect. Yeah, goes really low though. Oh, it was too early! Fuck! It was just a little too early. It was a little too early. God damn it. It was like 0.3 seconds too early, I think. <laughs> should like shoot it when it fully reaches the height the highest point oh well today we have good practice we'll get it tomorrow I think I'm kind of mentally checked out at the moment it's kind of spacing out a bit Yeah, I'll try to focus for the remaining of this ticket. I'll try. But like, it's really hard because it's so laggy. Like... Uh, you guys can see the FPS in this in this fight, right? It's just so hard <laughs> to focus.
No, I'm playing on... Um, I think medium? I think I play on high or medium. Having it too low makes it really hard to, like, target, I think. So I, I don't set it to, like, too low. I think medium is the lowest I can go. do about this? I think I do it here or here? Am I even gonna get this done? I feel like I'm gonna get it. Oh no, I didn't even get it. We're like a millimeter off, dude. Ah, oh, I should have, I, sh I should have Nagisa. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't sure because saving a Nagisa there is actually really helpful. It help, it helps you do like one more rotation. Because if you start with Nagisa, it's actually better. Oh man, I can't believe we didn't get it there. So close. I thought the Minori basic skill is gonna knock it for sure, but it just didn't. <sighs> oh, what? I misclicked. Uh, I think for each mob down, it gets. 5% groggy, and then uh, you also do a little bit of groggy by hitting the boss, I believe. Or like applying debuff, probably. I'm not sure how, how it's calculated, to be honest, besides knocking down the mobs. I'm pretty sure the damage actually affects it. But you have to do a lot of damage, though, for the groggy. Right, because Minori is doing a lot of damage per hit. Like, one EX of Minori, Minori can hit like 2 million. <laughs> but getting the crit or not will affect when you get Bragi by a lot. Oh my god, that's a huge crit! Oh my god, dude, what the fuck? That was a huge crit. Oh my. What? I think we're fucked. I I think we're completely fucked here. Dude, it's not looking good. It's so high. <laughs> oh my god, and I fucking All right, I don't think this run will work either way. It's way too high. Just avoid. Well, the thing is, you can go too low very easily. Like, it's very close. The thing is, each mob you avoid is 5% groggy. And that 5% is actually kind of a big deal. Uh, so when you reach the final phase, it starts a countdown timer basically. Once the timer reaches zero, 
your entire team dies no matter what. But if you stun the boss exactly when it goes into the final phase, you buy yourself a couple of extra seconds because the timer only starts counting when the boss is not in stun, when it awakes from the stun. And because you get a lot of extra cost regen in this fight as the fight goes on, like in later of the fight you get like 2 cost per second. So every extra second you buy with the stun is going to deal a lot of a lot more damage basically. It's like the climax of, of, of a musical basically. Everything you do is there. Looks kind of okay ish, right? Why did it stun this early, man? Holy shit. So yeah, the stun actually lasts uh, 15 seconds, I believe. It's 10 or 15, I don't remember exactly, but... Yeah, you're supposed to die when the clock is at, I think, 12 seconds or 13. If you stun at the exact time, you actually buy yourself 10 more seconds at the end of the fight. Which is which is huge because uh, my other teams cannot do that much damage. Like, if I throw one extra Minori ultimate at the end, that is literally worth I think about twenty teams more worth of damage. Twenty teams. Like, I'm not even kidding, because 1 Minori ulti can deal up to, I think, 30 million. Now, each team, I think, at most, if we body throw, can do about a million and a half, maybe 2 million. That's like being very optimistic. Yeah, I, I know. I know the groggy. I know it increases. Fuck, I, I should not read chat. I fucking forgot to heal. Thank god we got low stability this time. I, I, I should focus. I really should just focus. I'm focusing. No more talking. No more talking. Did I miss? Oh my god, I missed one. Uh, I'm not sure what happens now. I guess I just do the normal strat then. Yeah, I guess I, I just YOLO the normal strat. I don't think I died from this. I actually died from that? You, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I got a high stability hit, man. I don't think Saki normally dies from that. <laughs> oh, I guess we got low stability on the earlier hit. And that one was high. No, 5 star Saki doesn't die there. We save one heal, man. I really should just get Saki to 5 star, now that I think about it. I'm doing it after this one. I really should just get Saki to 5 star, honestly. Fuck this. Fuck this RNG, man. I can't really deal with this RNG anymore.
I do have some Enigma left. It's enough for one five star. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I should even do it. I'm just so scared of upcoming units at this point, because Blue Archive is power creeping at an insane speed. Like, what if Saki is like not even usable next one? We just use Mina. And on second thought, I'm not doing. I, I'm not. I'm not doing Saki. Never mind. Okay, the stun bar is really high this time. What the fuck? How is it this high? I'm just doing it. Fuck it. Oh my god, that... I shot too late. Oh, I miscounted by one, man. Oh man, it's too fucking laggy, this final part. <laughs> so hard to count when it's this laggy. I get zero crits there? Don't think I saw any crit from that. that not work? I don't understand. I feel like that should have worked, but it just didn't. Like, is it just because- is it like tied to frame rate? Like, did the clan just happen too late because of frame drops? I- I- I, I shot at like 56 something. It should have worked. I guess it just- it just didn't. I don't understand this shit, man.
Good morning? Good morning. Actually, good morning. It's morning for me. <laughs> I just fucking turn on low speed here. What? Like, how did that not work last time? That is absurd. Yeah, that was a really high hit. Really high hit. Okay. Well, let's just hope that we get lucky. We got a nice stun. The next one? I think it's next one. I think we did it. Throw another seven. Go, Nagisa! Yes! Alright, 6.2, I think that's kind of doable. But I don't think we have enough time, though. Alright. I think this is doable, but we have to body throw. We didn't crit enough, unfortunately. Oh, we have 19 minutes! Oh my god, the rest of the run have to be fucking perfect. It need to be under 60 for me to like, reliably body throw. Oh well, we'll just body throw, I guess. Uh... Alright guys, it's body throwing time. It's body throwing time. Oh man.
I I missed one. Oh my god. <laughs> I missed one. Not like this, man. I went over? Really? How was I over? How did I win over? What? Did I accidentally miss it? Fuck, how did I win over? Actually not sure how I went over there, man. Ow. I fired too early. Oh well. I'm actually not sure how I went over there. I was over one debuff. For no apparent reason. Come on, Neru, you gotta dodge a bit. Come on, Neru. Dodge.
No! She died instantly. It's over. Oh my god, we're so fucking unlucky, man. No. <laughs> oh, we're so unlucky, dude. Neru was so low for some reason. She just didn't dodge any attack or some shit. She has really high evasion too, by the way. Somehow it just didn't matter. Yeah, I just needed her to dodge a little bit. Not even have to be that much. And she failed me like that. Feels bad, man. Oh my gosh, she's so low again because we got really unlucky somehow that we didn't knock these guys over. Oh, we didn't knock them over, guys. I think it's over. She's gonna take too much damage, I think. This guy still didn't die, holy shit. So hard to aim. Okay, 22. We lost for sure. Oh man. No way. If we have like 10 more minutes, we could body throw this. But, oh man. It's over. We had a good run, but yeah.
Man, we, if we just create it a little bit more first team on Minori and get it down to 60 or like 58, we had this easy, but... Unlucky, man. Time is too short. Oh, that's great, man. Marina just died. Well, the time is very... Like, the thing is, getting the first team is like 80% of the battle. Like, if our first team weren't perfect, we can actually kill this boss in two team. But it has to be like absolutely perfection for first team, which un is not really gonna happen. And we have to reset for Marina Dodge on, on this team. So I realistically speaking, we have to get through first team with at least 20 to 25 minutes left on the clock to even have a chance. Like getting lucky in this team is quite difficult, I say. Oh, Alright, we actually got a dodge, nice. <laughs> Oh shit, I accidentally hit the boss. Alright, uh, I don't think it matters that much to be honest, but... I accidentally hit the ore again. Oh fuck, I even missed the one. Ah, whatever man. I gave up today. I wake up and do more runs when I wake up. It's a nice weekend after all. Alright, that's pretty much the maximum this team can do. We have 10 left. We have to body throw 10 teams. We have 2 Minori, then it'll be easy. I'm only missing that one crucial unit. If I have Mina or Minori, 
it would have been just easy peasy, but I'm missing two. I'm missing three. So it's really scuffed. Yeah, well, our last team cannot do 10, unfortunately. It is not possible. Alright, we gave up. We had a good run. Body throw 5 teams? No, we have to body throw like about 7 teams, I think. Each team. I think every team, realistically speaking, can do like maybe 1 million at most. Maybe. <laughs> like that's, push that's pushing it, man. Let's do an insane run and... Uh, let's call it a day after the insane run. <laughs> I am so defeated, man. Actually so unbelievable. Oh man. What's my... Let me check. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll show you guys comfy, comfy, uh, insane. Insane is really comfy. Actually, I don't even remember how to do it insane after I done like torment for so long. <laughs> Dude, how do I do it insane again? Oh fuck! <laughs> oh no, I don't remember. Oh, god damn it! How do I do it insane? <laughs> okay, hold up. Uh. Okay, we turn the lamp around. It's six. Insane is minus one debuff, so I. I don't know. Three, four. And then. Five. Six, five. I think I do this. I mean, the, the thing is, Insane is minus one debuff, and you, you don't want to go over. So going over means you only get 100% damage bonus, but staying in the green zone is 250, so it's 150%. Well, I actually don't remember how to do this. Oh no. <laughs> Not like this, man. Do I turn the organ with this? Yeah, I think I turn the organ with this. I I legit don't remember anything. Wait, did I miss the thing? Uh, hold up. <laughs> oh, I didn't. Okay.
I really don't remember how to do this. Fuck, we went over. Ah, god damn it. Alright, fuck it. I think it's fine. I'm I'm sure going over is okay. I'm sure. Yeah, I guess we just don't use Miyako buff ever now. I guess we heal. And we use Saki. Saki a little bit later. I have to turn around! Quick! Oh no, we're over debuff. Should be dead after this, right? Really, it's not dead? How is it not dead? Okay, whatever, man. <laughs> Scuffed clear, but it's fine. Uh, Insane is really comfy. I really don't remember how to do Insane, dude, because it really messes up the math in your head. You have to constantly do math in this raid. Oh man. Well, for uh, for insane, you don't even need Miyako. Uh, for insane, you pretty much you pretty much only really need Nagisa. Well, you can also replace Nagisa if you want with um Maid Yuzu. I think it also works, or like Miyu. But yeah, you, if you replace Nagisa, we need to bring one more debuff. But basically, you need either Saki or um, Mina. So she provides three debuff. And Azusa is plus one debuff, so four. And then the organ is plus one, which is five. So that's enough for um, Insane. For Torment, you need six or plus. So for Torment, you need one more debuff, basically. So you just need to reach five for insane, which is pretty easy. So three, four, five. It's easy. You don't really need this, to be honest. For just for insane. And also you can run the Mine Aru strat. That strat is I think faster than using Minori. How do you time Azusa debuff? You don't. Uh, she times it automatically. So the boss will retreat all these small mobs in 1 minute intervals. So it retreats the mobs at 3 minutes, 2 minutes, and 1 minute. And if your debuff timing is every 30 seconds, it will hit the boss exactly when when they retreat, uh, when, when the boss retreats the minion. So I think this works. Uh, I tried that so let's see, uh, where is she? 
So yeah, like like basically your basic skill that runs on 30 seconds will work. Or 20 will also work. Basically, you just have to divide it by one minute. So uh, where where is she actually? So th this will also work. This is also 30. So th this will also hit. So this is plus one more debuff. So New Year Haruka is actually three debuffs. And then uh, let's see. Where's the other one? Himari is also, I think this one also hits. So like for Insane, there's lots, lots of options. Cause Insane you only need, need to hit 5, and you don't die instantly. So there, there's a lot more wiggle room. Uh, but for Torment you need 6 debuff, which is currently not really achievable, unless you have all the key units. And then for Torment, any non-yellow armor units just die, so you, you kind of have to bring only yellow armor. Yeah, like Nagisa is actually not that important. She's just a low cost cycle, and then um, because her debuff, debuff duration is very short, like if you fuck up, she recovers quicker. What about Rumi? Rumi is also very important. For two teams. Uh, the one team, you actually have to have like everything maxed. I believe. Like everything has to be at least UE40 or above. And the damage dealer needs to be UE50. I think there might be like more than one, one team clear at the moment. Yeah, so see that they all use this, basically. They all use Nagisa plus uh, Minori. And this is a very close one team player, almost. He failed just by a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, good night. I think I've had it for today. I guess I'll, I'll explain it once more for those who just came. So on Torment, um, this boss has three modes, red, yellow, and green, based on how many debuff is applied. And this boss will do an opening attack that happens 20 seconds into the fight. This attack is guaranteed to crit, and will one-shot basically any non-yellow armor units. And then you also need, even, even for yellow armor units, you actually need to apply some debuff for it to reduce the boss attack so that it doesn't kill you in the next attack, basically. So this gates pretty much every single student in the game except for a few. You need to be able to apply at least 3 debuffs to the boss within the first 20 seconds or you just die. So yeah, that, that's like the main problem for this raid. Yeah, the damage is like really stupid. Well, for free is for torment. Only in saying it doesn't one shot you, and you only need two to get into yellow. So when you enter the fight, the boss came with one attack reduction debuff that expires in thirty seconds. So for uh, as you can see, for torment is four to five is yellow. So it starts with one. You need three to reach yellow. In saying it's uh, three to four. So you only need two debuffs. Oh, no insane! It's like three to four, I think. Yeah, three to four. So there are only two students in the game that applies three debuffs with one skill cast, and that is Swim Susaki or Mina. These two. It's uh, let's see. It's either her or her. These two. So these are like realistically your only option. If you... Uh, there, there's other ways to survive. So for example, I'm running uh... I'm running this. 
So if you don't get it to yellow, your team will be very low and they will die to the next attack. So you need to run a healer. So when you're running one healer, that means you're running one less damage dealer and that is a huge amount of damage lost. Huge. Cuz um if you survive until the e until the end of the fight, every second you're getting two costs, almost two costs at the end. So if you bring one less damage dealer, that means you have one less damage skill in cycle. And in the end, your, your AoE skill can hit up to like 10, 11 targets. So every skill is like 10 million damage plus easily, if you get it right crits. But I have to bring healer just to survive, because I missed that one unit. Obviously. So if you have Rumi here, you can use Rumi in the front line as the healer. And then you run two backline damage dealer. And that will also boost your secondary team damage by 20, 30 million. So if I have So if I have either one of the three here. So if I have Minori, then I don't have to I, I can borrow Minori for the second team. That means I can do a lot more damage. Or if I have Mina, then I have Mina for the second team for the debuff. Or if I have Rumi, I don't have to run Hot Spring Nodoka. That means I can run one extra damage dealer. Having either of any of these three, just one of them, will get me into two two team territory. But just because I'm missing one of one of them. Two team is literally impossible. I have to do like 10, 15 team. Just because I miss, I'm missing one of them. There is literally no other option in the game. I tried every student possible. I've been practicing for fucking 6 hours before stream today. And there is just no option. No option at all. So yeah, that is... I'm, I'm done for today. Uh, I'll wake up tonight and do more runs. We'll, we'll get them. We'll get them tonight. I, I believe it. We can get it. It's just it's really difficult because I actually need to get Minori to crit. Well, yeah, it's more demanding than gods because so for gods, I, I for gods the required student is actually not that different than this. Like for gods, you, you also need like 7-8 core students for the raid, otherwise you're fucked. But the thing about gods is that your student can be low star, because if you play correctly, you can dodge most of gods' attack. They're dodgeable, so even if they're 3 star, they can still stick it in and do damage. But for this raid, if your student are low star, you can't even do anything because the boss has a has a, has a full screen attack that's guaranteed to hit you unless you have enough evasion but that's guaranteed to hit you and they, it will kill you it, it kills like even Saki it kills Saki from full at 3 star I believe if you don't have the uh, attack reduction debuff on so even if even if you have the student that's supposed to counter this boss if you don't have them raised to a higher star level they just die God's core. Uh, it's Sports Yuka mainly, uh, Mika for Team One, and then you need to have. Uh, ideally, you wanna, you obviously wanna have a swimsuit Izuna and Mika, and then uh, what is it? Uh, Sakurako is recommended. You can also use Wakamo for tracking. Yeah, gods you have like 5 core, 5 or 6 core. I think gods you need 7 core for comfy. Sakura is not, rec uh, not, re not required if you know how to track the boss. She just helps you track the boss with your secondary team, basically. Uh, Noah is not really good, but you, you, can, you can use Noah, but she's not recommended. I, ideally, you want to have Bunny Akane as well. And uh, New Year Muski for first team, comfy first team. 
And then Swimsuit Azusa, obviously. Summer Azusa, Wakamo. And uh, uh, Swim Surugi, also good. That's pretty much it. Uh, there's some replacement for Gauze though, when Gauze Torment rolls around. You can use, uh, who is it? Uh, let's see. Uh, Cheerleader Utaha is also really good. I don't have her raised, but she makes the raid a lot easier. And uh, Koyuki is also usable. So Koyuki is also very good actually, for phase 1. And uh, New Year Junko also good. Like, for gods, you have a lot of different options, and they all work. You just need to dodge the boss attack. You, you, it, it's like a skill-based fight. You just need to learn how to use the repositioning tool. I say like, really the core is uh, Summer Shizuko and two Sports Yuka. That will get you three teams all with reposition, and you can just dodge. If you dodge correctly, then whoever you use doesn't really matter, as long as they can do damage. But I think Gauze is a lot better. I mean, Gauze, in terms of mechanic, I think is actually the best in the game. It's just that the required unit for Gauze, most of them are limited, just to have comfy clear. And learning how to use the repositioning takes a lot of time. But Gauze is actually way better than this fucking shit, Greg. Okay, I need to clear my stamina, and then I'm good to go. Oh, fuck. Uh, the hat RNG you can kind of avoid. I mean, it's like a 60% if you go left, so it's not that bad. And the thing about God's RNG is that a lot of the RNG you can actually play around if you learn how to do it. Like, at the end of the week, the Gods week, I was so good at it. I can pass Gods Torment with my really shitty free team setup. Almost, like, guaranteed. If I don't go for a high score, obviously. Because, for some reason, the Gods hat, it has like a much higher chance to spawn the coin in the left side. So if you go left and then center, you can pretty much guarantee to dodge two coins, and then you'll get a stun. <laughs> so, so it's actually not that bad. And the gear drop race sucks. Holy shit. But if you want to go for high score, then you have to go left or and right. Uh, you have to go right with the Summer Shizuko team. But if I don't go for high score, you can go left. And uh, it's much easier. Like going left or going right, the main difference is that you save one repositioning. That's like the only difference, you, you save like free cost. <laughs> Not even a single drop, alright. Yeah, the drop rate in this game is so bad. Look at it, zero drops again on the watch. And every raid you have to bring, you have to raise like seven, eight new units. It's fucking nuts, man. All right, I'm done for the day. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I will be back tonight and finish this fight. I will kill gods one way or another. So yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, see you guys later. Good night.